Here's a live look of what I guess we could call the calm after the storm from our Hastings Skyview shot. Some blue skies actually breaking through. Meteorologist Kit Kloniger is in the Weather Center to give us a recap of those extreme winds. Kit, what happened here today? Well, uh, we had a, what's called a nocturnal storm come through. We had it starting off off to our north in South Dakota. So let's take a look at these storm reports. They sw swept basically a straight line from O'Neill straight down Highway 281 right into the heart of the Tri-Cities area, especially Grand Island, Hastings, and into Clay and Knuckles counties as well. So multiple storm reports, a lot of uh, mesonet uh, wind meters actually picked up many of these wind reports. But let's take a look at the timeline of when these winds came through uh, a couple of our counties here in the Tri-Cities. So Cairo was the first uh, severe wind that we had reported at 2.33 in the morning at 69 mile per hour winds. Alda then got 80 mile per hour winds that continued to the Grand Island Airport up to 87 mile per hour winds. It actually knocked out the sensor for a few hours here and we weren't getting any data anymore. It continued towards Donovan getting up to 79 mile per hour winds recorded, 70 mile per hour winds into the haste airport as well and finally a Fairfield at 85 mile per hour winds a long swath of extreme wind damage uh, rust but how are we looking for the rest of the day I'll have that forecast coming up in a few short minutes okay thanks a lot for that kit well that